Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You uh seen a few of my videos of this winter wonderland that we got here in East Texas, but it's like 50 degrees today, and that sucker is melting fast. All of this was covered. Now, of course, right here in front of the house is not because it blocks the sun, but almost everywhere it is melting super fast. Now we go from a winter one in Wonderland to a mud bog. But I got the camera out today because uh, I went and delivered some eggs. We uh, we got a customer, very loyal customer. She buys my buys eggs. I delivered her three dozen eggs today while I was out, and uh, we picked up a, a new goat. We haven't officially named her yet. Maybe I can get some uh, name suggestions from my my viewers for her. But uh, she's a little black and white Nigerian drawer. And also I picked up 17 baby chickens. You can hear in the background, she is, she is not happy right now. They still feeding her a bottle once a day, but she is not very happy. Here she is. Like I said, we haven't come up with a name for her yet, but she just got tattooed this morning. She's been disbudded. Like I said, she is friendly. She rode my son's lap all the way back here. We haven't had a name. Don't come. Haven't had a name for her. My wife said she looks kind of like a skunk, and she thought about that female skunk name. I can't think of the name of the skunk now, but she thought about that. And then uh, the other addition to the homestead. Which I've, uh, I let chicken math kind of take over me. I'm, uh, big into the different colored eggs. Well, today I picked up five blue splash marons. I've already got a few, but I picked up some more. And I picked up 12 fibro Easter eggers, which means they're an Easter egg to lay different colored eggs, but they got the dark meat, dark skin and everything and uh let me show you more birds that i'm adding to my flock there are five white ones those are going to be the blue splash uh marons they got the hairy feet uh fluffy feet and stuff they'll be laying a dark chocolate egg or close to it then you see the other black ones they're black ones and there's like two little light gray ones the light gray ones are not as dark as the blacker ones but the blacker ones have black feet and everything and they'll have black they got black skin but uh these are my fiber easter eggers and then of course the splash marons i picked up 17 baby chickens today my, my wife don't know about it but i get to put the i built this chicken broiler like three years ago when we lived at a different place and it sat in my garage and all it did was collect stuff. So today I get to use my chicken broiler for the first time. The lid is made out of old fence slats. My mother-in-law had a bunch of old fence slats, uh, fence slats sitting up that didn't that she wasn't using. And so I attached the hardware cloth in between it, braced it by putting some corner braces here. And I had the lid where it sloped so it's a little easier to lean into and work. But it's, it's pretty solid. You see the corners here. Uh, I silicone up everything. And what's great about the lid, uh, you can set the light right here on the lid and help keep them warm. I still got to get the feeder and water out. I have to go back to my mother in law's and get it. But those are the new additions to the homestead. I can't think of the name of that uh, female skunk off of a. Uh, it was on Saturday morning cartoons. I can't even think of the name of the show. It had that male skunk. He was always chasing the cat. But she, but there was a female skunk. My wife said that's what we need to name her. But she is very vocal today. This is all new to her. But you can see, that was all white this yesterday. Now back in the trees here, it's still all snow. But the grass is finally coming up. Now with this snow gone, 
And that's the only thing I don't have over here is my chickens. With this snow melting and it warming back up, which this weekend, no, next weekend, it's supposed to rain and everything. It's supposed to get y'all out of the sun. It's supposed to rain for like five or six days straight. And with a little cold front, it's supposed to be down in the 30s and rain. They're not predicting any snow, so that's awesome. But uh, I've been working on splicing out my, my chicken coop. There's a little pole right there with a mound of dirt to the right of it. That's the one corner. I got my pole so digger, they done fell over, but that's where my corner is, is where my chicken coop's gonna start. And it's gonna run east and west. And I'm gonna have the slope, it's gonna be like seven foot tall on the north side and it's gonna slope down to the south side to like six foot, maybe 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 five and a half to get a, different, a decent slope. And I was gonna use the, I was gonna use the roof with a rain catching system to help me catch the rain them two right there dave and and tank they're like best buddies they they run around play with each other chase each other they're they're it's funny watching them and there's dolly dolly's the supervisor but look at dave and tank it's awesome watching them and here's Tilly. Tilly's come to mess with our new goat. Like I said, we ain't got to kind of, ain't come up with a name either yet. Maybe y'all can help us come up with a name so I can uh, submit the paperwork and go ahead and get her registered. But like I was saying with the chicken coop, I'm going to use the roof as a rain catchment. I'm going to have her, I'm going to make my own, I'm going to get like four inch PVC pipe, put caps on the end, cut it in half, and use the PVC pipe as a, uh, as a gutter system one in have like a 90 coming down and use that to catch the rain coming off of the roof so i can use the water to help me water my chickens eventually i didn't have the time or the, or the money to do it yet but the water spigot is down there at the barn i want to run it along the fence line right here to this post and have me a spigot right here. And I want the spigot so I can, if I need to water my chickens, I ain't gotta stretch out a whole bunch of hoses. So I can just stretch out a little 25 foot hose and be fine. But. Y'all can see Dave. He is just going nuts. And then you have Tank. Then you got Macy and McDuff. McDuff is right there and Macy is right there. Well guys, I'm gonna get these the chicken food and the chicken water set up. Well guys, I'm back. I got them set up. The water. I put a two by four block in there so it sit above the shavings so to help keep the shavings out of the, the food and water not too much worried about the food but the water more than anything but i got them set up and like i said 17 more chickens added to the homestead I don't know how many that gives me. Over 50. But, uh, there's something out of chicken math. It's a thing. Give you all a little update on pork and chop. The one closest to, well, the one closest to me is pork, and that's chop. Pork's a little bigger than chop. But, uh, those are our feeder pigs. So they're our Door Rock New Hampshire F1 Cross.
they made it through this storm i had a that blue tarp over top i had a couple of pieces of tin on the corner and stuff to help keep the wind off of them and everything and i put extra hay in the in there and they are doing great Set up. uh thank y'all for following along like i said if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do make sure you hit that like button then hit the notification bell so you're notified of all all my uploads or my community posts and stuff like that my live chats i've only done two i'm gonna be doing one in the next couple days so y'all uh, make sure y'all follow along and uh i appreciate y'all bonded oak acres out <laughs>